Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. So last time you guys saw us, we arrived here in Barcelona. We checked into our hostel, which is actually just right over there. But then uh, today we just checked out because we've just been working for the last few days, trying to get, get all caught up before we start filming stuff again. Um, but you didn't miss anything. Just drink a lot of coffee and, and tried out some food. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> So today we're actually moving to an Airbnb down in the, the Gothic district or yeah. the Gothic neighborhood. Um, and we are going to go to La Bocaria, I believe is what it's called. It's a really famous market here in Barcelona. And they are known for having a lot of like fresh fruits and produce and all kinds of stalls with tapas and all kinds of delicious things. So my idea is to go to some of the more famous stalls and try all the food. So we're actually running a little earlier. Actually, our host is running a little bit late, so we're just waiting on her. We're in the Gothic Quarter, and we're just chilling in one of the many squares that they have. There's a ton of stuff going on here. The Gothic Quarter is the old city of Barcelona. It includes some of the oldest parts of the city, including the remains of the Roman Wall. The remains of the Roman Wall. Super charming. It has all these amazing winding little corridors and these beautiful buildings. Definitely worth a visit. It can be a bit touristy, but you just gotta look past that because it's totally worth seeing this place because it's amazing. just gotten all checked into our place. It's this tiny little room in the Gothic district. We have our own bathroom and everything back yeah, there. Which pretty freaking sweet. sweet. But the best part, check this out. We've got a pretty stellar view out here on the balcony. We're kind of above some of the other rooftops. So you actually get a little bit of sunlight. Well, that's kind of scary. <laughs> didn't, didn't really realize quite how high up I was. <laughs> oh, geez. Is it really high? Well, when you look straight down, it's pretty scary. That would sting a little if you fell out of there but you can see over into one of the corridors over there and you can see a bunch of these other uh, houses. They all look super classy. We have a little kitchenette in here. Oh yeah. Ta-da! With tea. Man, I love it when hosts give you tea. I don't know why. It just seems so delicious and nice. It's just one less thing that you have to worry about. Yeah. So this is La Bocaria and it was first mentioned in the 1200s but today it's I think pretty different than it was back then and it became different things throughout the centuries but in the 18 mid 1800s it became known as this market that we're seeing now and in here there are a lot of cured meats and fruits and veggies a lot of tapas restaurants it smells amazing until you get to the fish part and then it doesn't smell so great but it's pretty amazing and it's still really lively even though it's the afternoon So there are a bunch of like fresh fruit juice vendors here. We found one of the only ones that seems to not put added sugar. Yeah, a lot of them add the sugar. So if you don't want that, hunt around a little bit and you'll find one that doesn't. Also, don't order from the outside stalls because they cost more. First up, we're gonna give these juices a try. So I went with the watermelon kiwi. She had all kinds of flavors there. It was an extremely difficult decision. Uh, what did you get? I did strawberry pineapple. No, strawberry mango. I think you did strawberry kiwi. Strawberry kiwi? Yeah, is that what I said? Watermelon. Oh yeah, I got it wrong. Yeah. Strawberry kiwi. Ah. All right, let's give it a try. No, it's strawberry, oh, right? Oh, that is so good. Dude, she said no added sugar, but it's so sweet. She it's, must have put a ton of strawberry in there. Holy it's cow. It's really sweet. I cannot wow. believe that people would add sugar to this. Yeah. This is bananas. This is, well, it's not bananas. Mm. It's strawberries. You got them. Oh, oh man. God. That's super duper fresh. It could do with a little a couple ice cubes in it, but it's, it's pretty damn so good. It's so good. All right, now I am on a mission to find some jamon. They put jamon. the the cured meat in these little like cones. Yeah, kind of like yeah. you would get like French fries in. Yeah, but they or put ice meat cream in them. Y'all look how beautiful this is. We just got a cone with all sorts of assorted meats in there instead of just one kind. I'm not 100% sure what it all is, but it smells good. You got some cheese, you got a there's little bread chorizo, I think, chorizo. it said on the receipt, but I think there's a mixture of some yeah, other stuff too. Yeah, it looks like the bihamon in there, right? Big chunks of yeah. cured so, ham and salami, A couple pieces of cheese, maybe? and there's a hard like piece of, like a bread stick kind of thing there. Why not, one little guy. All kinds of goodies. All right. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna eat this while I'm filming oh, you. Oh yeah. What? 
Oh yeah. Dude. And you can't go wrong with cured meats, right? And this was only five euros. Yeah. Which maybe you could have found it cheaper in here, but that's not so bad for a little snack. Nice job. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I missed it. Cheers. So this market has some really good tapas places. There's one that we tried to go to that's the most known one, but it was they were out of everything. Yeah, they closed at four. We got there at three. So heads up, get there early because yeah. they only had three dishes left out of their whole menu. But we found another place called Bar Boqueria, and it is extremely popular. You literally just have to wait around and just snipe a spot the minute it comes available. But everything looks really good. It's all being made fresh right before our eyes. It's going to be good. Oh, so good. We got some kava to drink, which from what we understand is like wine that's specifically from, or sparkling wine that's specifically from Spain, I believe. Oh yeah, oh it smells so good. <laughs> oh wow, that's busy. Busy, not sweet at all, delicious. Oh yeah. Hola, hola. Gracias. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. The food has arrived and it looks and smells amazing. We got some bombas, which are little uh, potato, those are with spicy meat, and they're little balls that are deep fried and put in this sauce. And then we got patatas bravas, which are huge hunks, essentially like quarters of whole potatoes that are deep fried with two different sauces on top. And then we got pimientos de padron, which are, I guess, padron peppers that are deep fried with lots of salt on top. It all looks amazing, all deliciously deep fried. I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna try these little peppers first. I'm not like a, a huge fan of peppers in general, but I, I don't mind them. So these actually look pretty good though. Oh, wow. Ooh. Those are really good. They're really flavorful. I thought they were gonna be really thick, but they're super thin. And that little layer of salt is like, you can taste the salt kernels crunching in your mouth. With these little like bursts of flavor. These are surprisingly good. I haven't gotten all the seeds yet though. Do you think it's gonna be spicy? I don't think so. Oh yeah, those are really good. They're kind of like um, okra, if you've ever had okra before, except a little bit less slimy. I'm not a huge fan of okra because it's so slimy, but these are a lot less slimy, and they're pretty delightful. I think we're going to give these potatoes a try next. Oh, man. So they have like some mayonnaise on top and then some other reddish I sauce. I think it's a spicy sauce. Yeah. It smells a little spicy. And then some chives, I think, dusted on the top. Oh. Oh, that is so good. It's, I'm trying to think of the sauce tastes like, it's almost like spicy salsa mixed with marinara or something. Oh, it's really good, really flavorful, not very spicy. And the mayonnaise, of course, is just amazing. They're perfectly fried and nice and crunchy. Y'all, I am so excited for these little bombas. Oh, man. So oh, those I, look really yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be just like meat and potatoes. Get more sauce on there. Oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's like you <laughs> mix meat and potatoes and then freaking deep fried it and covered it in creamy, delicious sauce. It is amazing. Allison made it sound so freaking delicious. I'm really excited about it. Whoa. It is so gooey. Isn't it? It's got the like crunchy breading on the outside and then it's really gooey on the inside. That is deep fried deliciousness right there. These bombas actually remind us of these little balls that we had in Amsterdam called Bitterballen. Those on the, are very similar to this except they're made, they're kind of flour based. These are potato based. But other than that, they're extremely similar. They taste very yeah. similar and they have a similar consistency. Yeah, really nice and fried on the outside but really squishy and delicious on the inside. We almost managed to finish everything, <laughs> but we kind of hit the breaking point. Tapas are awesome because you can try so many different things, and if you can find like the affordable ones, then you can really put together a bunch of different stuff. And if you have a lot of people, you can try all kinds of stuff. It's, oh, it's yeah. a lot of fun. It's like that's our favorite thing: is trying everything in sight. So this is yeah. perfect for us. We just order a little bit of everything, and then we're in Happy Town.
We're on the walking street called La Rambla. Is that how you say it? La Rambla. La Rambla. <laughs> and uh, it's a very popular walking street, very touristy. But that's a good thing because we need to get some postcards for our, our Patreon subscribers. We found a gold mine of uh, tacky <laughs> Barcelona postcards here They're that so you guys are going to be receiving. Yes, with a handwritten special note from us. So if you'd like to receive tacky postcards from all over the world, make sure you head over to our Patreon. At a certain tier, we'll send you guys postcards, and there's also a bunch of other perks there that you guys can take advantage of. Which one's he going to get? That's the question. Maybe one of everything, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, we were gonna explore a bit more of the city today, but I have to edit a vlog, sadly. Yeah, um, we tried to go to a cafe, but their Wi-Fi was out, and it's yeah. getting a little late, so. You'd think we'd get better at checking the Wi-Fi situation. Actually, they had free Wi-Fi, but then we logged in, and it just didn't work, so. Yeah, not at all. We were there for like an hour drinking coffee. So we had to what? give up on it, come back, and I'm gonna get this vlog done if it kills me. I've managed to get the vlog all done. Got Ooh. a nice little workstation over there with all my stuff on it. But uh, we went out to get a little bit of dinner. We went to a Greek place. Just down the road. Yeah. And these two combined were 10 euros. Yeah. So I got a little like a uh, pita wrap over here with chicken in it. They mm -hmm. put uh, cucumbers in there, which I'm gonna be picking out. Yeah. And I also went for the plate. But ah, man, look how so beautiful good. it oh is, y'all. Yeah, it's, it's making me realize just how hungry I am. Oh yeah. So we've been alluding to some of our upcoming travel plans, but we yes. figured we'd just let the cat out of the bag. So we're, We've been invited by Royal Caribbean to go on their maiden voyage of the largest cruise ship in the world. In the freaking entire yeah. world, y'all. It's called the Symphony of the Seas, but oh my we're going to be spending a week on the boat. We are insanely excited about it. We're going to be making some awesome videos, showing off the boat, showing off the different ports and all kinds of fun activities. It's going to oh, be amazing. it's going to be glorious. You guys, we cannot wait. We did a cruise once when we first started traveling. Some of you know, two years ago. Yeah. And it wasn't the greatest experience. Yeah, so this will be a lot lot better than that, I think. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to have, like, a balcony view. We're going to get to do a lot of cool and see a lot of cool stuff on the ship itself and learn a lot more about it. Last time, it was just us, and we didn't know what we were doing, and we were in an interior room with a bunch of dudes. It wasn't the greatest. Yeah, so make sure you guys don't miss those videos because it is going to be an absolute blast, and we want to take you guys along with us. Oh, we cannot wait. Oh, and um, if you guys already follow the Wayway, then you already know about this because... They're going to be on the ship with us. Yeah, was, Josh and Ashley, if you guys don't already know. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of a coincidence. We were just chatting and then it turned out, yeah, we're yeah. all going. So they're going to be in the vlog again. And then mm -hmm. we're going to be hanging out with them after we, oh, yeah, we leave the ship as well. I don't know well. if we've said this. So after the cruise, we're going to Japan for what? the first time. So I think we'll spend like two weeks there and then the Philippines. And then we'll go to Indonesia where we might meet up with Josh and Ashley one more time. Yeah. We're going to meet up with them everywhere in the so world. So there's going to be a lot of the way away on our on our vlog. Oh, and I a lot of us wait. on theirs. It's going to be so fun. We love hanging out with them. So stay tuned for all that. We're crazy excited about it. It's going to be a crazy adventure. It's going to be good. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed coming to the market with us today. We have a lot more to explore to take you to in Barcelona. So stay tuned mm -hmm. for that. All right. But we're going to eat this, catch up on The Walking mm -hmm. Dead. Yes. What? All the best things. And I love eating in bed. bed. In my pajamas. All right, good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.